Hey guys, thanks for passing by our channel. In today's video we are going to discuss, 5 productive Kenyaji poultry breeds in Kenya. There are various chicken breeds in Kenya and farmers choose which ones to raise depending on their unique circumstances and the characteristics of the birds. While most of them are dual purposes, that is they are raised for both eggs and meat, the varieties differ in their maturity periods, number of eggs laid, adaptability and resistance to diseases. These five breeds have gained mass acceptability in the market and can easily be purchased in Kenya by anybody whose intention is to start a poultry business. At number one is Original Kenyeji. This is the original pure breed of indigenous chicken unadulterated by research. They are mostly scavengers and are very resistant to diseases. Their maturity period is six months and they lay an average of three to ten eggs a month. They are normal feeders and can be raised partly by local kitchen waste and left to scavenge for food within the compound. They are raised for both meat and eggs are originated from various places in the world. Its meat and eggs are very popular in the market and are preferred by most Kenyans. Anybody desiring to raise them can acquire from another farmer who breeds them. At number 2 is Kenbro Chicken Breed. Kenbro Chicken is a product of Kenchik Limited and can be acquired through their various outlets in Nairobi and other towns. They are heavy feeders and have low resistance to diseases. They lay an average of 20 to 25 eggs a month and have a maturity period of 4 to 5 months. At number 3 is, Kerry Improved Kianjeji Chicken. This is a type of chicken that came about as a result of breeding research by the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, Kalra. It is the result of breeding different types of indigenous chicken in Kenya from different areas. In this research Kalra sought to look for and marry unique characteristics in the chicken-like high egg production, faster growth and good feed to meat conversion. They lay an average of 15 to 20 eggs a month, mature faster, that is at 4 months and they may weigh approximately 1.2 kilograms and are ready for the market as meat. They however still start laying eggs at 6 months just like the other Kenyaji, indigenous birds. Carry improved birds do not go broody that is they don't sit on eggs, though in farms through association with other pure indigenous breeds, several have been known to sit on eggs and raise chicks, their feeding is normal and should not worry any farmer and they are highly resistant to diseases. They are raised for both eggs and meat. The carry improved variety can be ordered through their approved agents. At number 4 is Rainbow Rooster. The Rainbow Rooster is a type of improved indigenous chicken that is a result of Indian research. Locally chicks and eggs can be acquired through the local license holder Kukuchik Limited. Rainbow Rooster lays between 20 to 25 eggs a month and has a maturity period of 4 months. They are medium feeders, however one disadvantage is that they have low resistance to diseases therefore vaccination and biosafety should be paramount. At number 5 is Coroiler Chicken. Coroiler is also a type of improved Kenyaji chicken that was developed in India. They are medium feeders and lay between 18 to 20 eggs a month and also like Rainbow Rooster have low resistance to diseases. Though the approved agent is in Uganda, there are a number of local farms that sell Coroiler eggs and chicks with agents in Mombasa and farms in Nakuru and other parts of the country. Most farmers keep more than one variety in order to first learn which variety works best for them and also to be able to know which breed is acceptable in the market. These will help the farmer to choose accurately on which breed he or she wants to keep for maximum profits upon selling.